Hi B, how you doing? I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm I'm good. I kind of get a fever like two days ago, but it's it's not a coronavirus. Don't be scared. <laughs> but yeah, I'm 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 pretty good. How's your quarantine life going? Um, you know, it's been good. I've been um in um Oxford with my band and Matthew and George, and we're making music for after the album. So this is not going to be out for a while, but we're just chilling here and making music. Um, first of all, I just want to say that I am kind of nervous talking to you because I'm a big fan. Me and my girlfriend is a big fan of you. Um, thank and, you. That means and, a lot. And first of all, congratulations for the new single, Care. I really love that mm-hmm. song. Especially because it has a kind of 90s alternative vibes, I guess. And mm-hmm. I really love that song because of that vibes. It's kind of make me nostalgic to my angsty teen life, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that was that's my message. <laughs> uh, I read mm-hmm. on Genius.com that you said that this song is about you being angry to the society. The question is why you wrote a song about you being angry to the society? Um, I think it was just, you know, the frustration I felt knowing that no one's truly going to understand you without them going through what you've been through and, you know, understanding it fully. And it's me kind of getting my anger out about that. And, you know, saying how things that happen in your childhood really can affect you as a young adult and as a young woman. Um, But yeah, I was coming to terms of accepting that and I feel like writing the song helped me take all that anger out and, you know, turn that into something positive and, you know, fun and angsty and um, that's helped me mentally as well. But the best thing about your new single, Care, is because it sounds so personal it, it's really relate to me especially it reminds me of my you know angsty teenage life but it's mm-hmm. kind of different if we comparing to your first ep or your previous ep i remember uh, listening you for the first time in 2017 when you covering uh, the moon song by karen o in 2018 you release your ep patch up right Yeah. If we if we comparing all of your music, all of your EPs, I can say that you are slowly change your music from acoustic pop to alternatives. The question is why you change your genre? I feel like I didn't change my genre. I feel like genres don't necessarily exist unless you think they do. And I think in terms of changing my music, I think it wasn't necessarily change it was just me growing comfortable with who i was and me growing confident with what i make what i want to make and you know i'm not saying coffee and and care are two completely different genres but they're all part of who i am and i still think you know in the album you're gonna find songs that are like coffee you're gonna find songs that are like are you sure from space cadet and you're gonna find this you know whole new disney-esque type you know, world I want to dip my feet in. And it's like, these are all versions of me, but it's all part of the same thing. You know, it's my, I don't know, I'm not saying I've made my own genre, but I feel like, I guess I didn't change, but I grew confident with the way I played my guitar and the way I sang, you know, I developed as a person. And through that, I guess my music developed with me. Okay, and by dropping care, you are also announcing that you are gonna drop your debut album soon, Fake It Flowers. And once again, mm-hmm. congratulations about your debut album. Is is there something that you can tell us about the album? I mean, is it is it gonna be a feature on it? Um, I don't. There's no. F- features on the album i wrote all the songs in my bedroom um one song on tour and i think the whole kind of message behind the whole album is everything i was supposed to tell someone but couldn't 
and you know that goes to from stories I used to hear from people or genuine like all real life shit that I went through and like you know there's every song is very personal and very honest and sometimes confessional and and it's so detailed and you know I'm you know it's very literal that I'm actually quite scared about releasing it because you know there's going to be songs about diff about people and they're going to message me and say this song is about me isn't it and you know I'm gonna have to go through that whole thing because it's definitely a really personal piece of artwork and it's um like I think sonically it really go uh, I really try to make sure that you know it delved into everything I've made so stuff like coffee you know really massive production you know band recording so there's a lot of variety you know I wanted to make sure there was a song for everyone in that album and talking about your debut album and uh, comparing to all your previous EP I, I started to uh, realize that all of your EP is um, have an illustrated on the artwork and then when you drop in care it is not is I don't know it's like the trademark of Biba Doobie that every her EP is illustrated um, I guess so you can say it's a trademark but I feel like it was just something that I did when I you know back then I don't necessarily think that's you know uh, a way to know that a piece of music is mine. I think I just grew maturer and I wanted this album to be real. This is the realest piece of music I've released so far. So everything, including artwork, including the album art, including the single art, it's, you know, going, it's, it's really touching base on the idea of flowers because the album is Fake It Flowers and focusing on how every song is different and beautiful in its own way like flowers and it's delving into the fact that every song is so honest and pure that it deserves you know I, I I'm ready to show the you know realness and this is me at 20 still young and a bit naive but also have experienced a few things and like enough things to write an album this honest so i think it's definitely it's not a trademark i feel like i've just I, i've i've grown as a person okay and you know since you are a friend of a clairo and you also going on tour with her there's a lot of people that really want you guys to collaborate with and i'm not gonna lie i am one of them i i i love you and i love claire as well but how does it feel to be on tour with her she is like a big sister she's lovely i know she's always there and i know she's always there for if i need advice and i she is all around like an amazing person i love claire and I love to, I mean, we tried making a song together, but we just have too much fun. Okay, and last month, No Room asked you to be a feature in his new single, Harry Home, alongside with mm. another Filipino artist, Jason. How does it feel to be working in the song? Because I really love that song. I also be a big fan of Rome, and the fact that three of you are Filipinos, it's kind of amazing, like for real. Yeah. Um, well, I think it was obviously I did it because I'm proud to be Filipino and I absolutely love Rome and Jay Song's music and I have major respect for them both. And it was honestly like I did it because they were my friends and because they loved the music and it was honestly a really fun experience. And he's an amazing guy. Like I went on tour with him. so. That was a super fun thing to do. And you also being one of the lineup for Ectic Rising Asia Rising a few months ago. How does it feel to be a representative of a Southeast Asian artist in the global music industry? Um, it's I feel pretty proud because I never really had, you know, someone that looked like me growing up. It was really hard to, you know, look up to someone. And I hope that I can encourage girls who were like me when I was 15 to, you know, pick up a guitar and, and to be okay with who they are. Um, and I'm very proud to be Asian. I obviously felt so alienated growing up because I was in a very white predominant all-girl 
all girl Catholic school. So it was really hard fitting in. But then when I, you know, finally got grip, like, got grip of things and realized that it's freaking cool to be Filipino and an Asian woman. And, you know, that's, that's when I kind of got more confident with the music I made. And um, yeah, it's super sick. It's a cool feeling. Okay, and you are also in a label, Dirty Hit, and as we know, No Room, Japanese House is also in the label, and George and Matthew Healy is helping him. Is George and Matthew is also helping you in this next album? Um, the album that's coming out is produced by Pete and Joseph, and they're amazing. And it was us three in my band in the studio creating it right now. I'm actually living in a house with Matty and George and my band together here um, and we're recording music for the thing after the album mm, so that's okay. by them so but this album that's coming out is um, produced by different people who are also equally very amazing okay can't, can't wait for the album but can you tell us when the next single is gonna drop uh the next single is gonna drop hopefully around august and that's what i'm saying all i'm telling you for now okay thank you b that's all from me i really love your songs i really waiting for your album fake it flowers and please send my love to medi because i am a big fan of him since 2012 and you say okay. you are living with medi now so i hope and send my love to me Okay, B, that's for me. Thank you so much for the time and good luck for the album.